Hello, my friends. I'm coming to you here from Bendigo in Melbourne, Victoria. Bendigo, why am I here? What am I doing here? Well, my sons are here for the BMX State Series racing. They had practice today. The big race is on tomorrow and another big race is on the day after that. So it's just me here with the boys and one of their friends. Jack's friend Elijah was actually born on the same day as him in the same exact hospital in the same ward. Crazy, right? But anyway, Tesla. When I made a video recently about the Tesla expansion at the Gigafactory in Shanghai, I was like, well, I shared with you the fact that Tesla is building a new production line at the factory there for the Model 3. And I kind of thought, well, it doesn't make sense. I mean, here in Australia, we need the Model Y. There's so many places worldwide where they want the Model Y and there's huge delays for the Model Y. So it didn't really add up to me. But now I've finally figured out why exactly Tesla is doing what they're doing. And actually, it does make sense. Hello, my friends. Welcome to Bendigo in Melbourne, Victoria. Now, welcome to the Electric Viking. Great to have you, all your new subscribers. Welcome back to everyone else. Tesla has just released their wait times in China for their different vehicle variants. And well, the wait times continue to get longer and longer and longer. And I'm, you know, I'm really intrigued by what's going to happen when Tesla does increase production at their factory in Shanghai. But the funny thing is they've already increased production and increased production and increased production and gone on and on and on. And it appears to me as though they're actually hit a run rate potentially of nearly 1 million vehicles. It looks like the run rate currently is maybe 800,000 vehicles per year. Obviously, they're aiming to expand that production to about a million this year. Well, apparently within a few months. So let's see if that happens. We're going to be able to know if that happens by seeing if this wait time starts to reduce. But currently, all they're doing is increasing. And the surprising thing about that is, I mean, competition here, well, not here in China, but when I say here, I mean, obviously, I talk about China all the time on this channel. And competition in China for electric cars is insane. I mean, it is just, if you saw all the different models, you'd line them all up against each other. You saw the prices of them all. I mean, honestly, there are so many different offerings. And the prices are all so, so, so incredibly competitive, so compelling. In fact, the interior infotainment, the infotainment systems on these vehicles is just far superior to 95% of the infotainment systems on legacy auto vehicles. Uh, Chinese state media, Chinese media report on this, Chinese consumers report on this fact. That's one of the key reasons why Tesla vehicles are so successful in China, because they're perceived as being sort of at a similar level to many of the Chinese vehicles in terms of the infotainment systems. So what exactly is going on and what are the wait times for Model 3 and what are the wait times for Model Y? Well, CNF Post says that for Tesla consumers in China, wait times have been painful and now they're becoming even more painful. So as I said before, Tesla's website in China was updated today with wait times and those times have, well, for the most part, continued to increase. Expected delivery dates for both models of the Model 3 sedan the Model 3 and the Model 3 Performance. So obviously we're talking about the standard range Model 3, which is the one with LFP batteries, then the Model 3 and Model 3 Performance are all 16 to 20 weeks from now. That's an extension of what they were previously before this current update, which was 12 to 16 weeks. And before that update, it was 10 to 14 weeks. So these numbers on the Tesla website in China just keep on increasing and increasing. So there's a lot of people, skeptics, who say, well, Tesla cars are too expensive. I mean, they can't possibly increase their sales. Well, unfortunately, the facts disagree with that statement. You can see here exactly what's going on, right? So what does this mean? This means that for Chinese consumers who order those models now, you won't be receiving those deliveries until the end of June at the earliest. But what does it mean for us consumers outside of China? Well, not much for Americans, of course. Uh, that's a different issue. But for people who get vehicles from the factory in China, that means that, yeah, probably likely your wait times are going to increase as well. So what about the Tesla Model Y? Well, there's three variants of the Model Y. There's obviously the standard range variant. Then there's the Model Y long range. And then there's the Model Y performance. Delivery dates for the entry level version have been reduced by two weeks from the previous 12 to 16 weeks to 10 to 14 weeks. And I reckon that's because of one key issue 
CATL supplies the batteries for that base model version. And well, they're the biggest battery company in the world. So I reckon there's a good chance the bottleneck isn't batteries for that variant. And that's probably the reason why the wait time is shorter on the standard range model. For the Model Y long range, the estimated delivery date has increased by four weeks to 16 to 20 weeks. And the Model Y performance, the estimated delivery time remains 12 to 16 weeks. So other than the change in the expected delivery dates, as in most of the delivery dates have become longer now because obviously there's more demand, more orders, longer delivery dates. There's been no other changes, no changes to pricing, no changes to specifications. So what were Tesla's sales in China in January? Well, Tesla actually sold 60,000 in January, but they weren't really all sold in China. They were built in China, but 41,000 were actually exported and 19,500 units were delivered locally. Now that's according to data released last month by the Chinese Passenger Car Association, the CPCA. February figures, they're not yet available. Wish I could share those with you, but uh, we don't have those yet. As soon as they become available, I'll publish a video on that straight away. So what's happening in China? Well, because of these long delivery times, we're actually seeing used vehicles. This is the first time I know of, of this happening in China used vehicles costing more than new ones. And yeah, that's not really the Chinese mentality. The Chinese see used products as being inferior. I mean, don't most of us really? Fair, fair call. But in particular, that's the case in China where like used homes are seen as being inferior. So when people often buy a home as an investment, they don't rent it out. They just keep it vacant for fear of the fact that it might be seen as being an inferior product. Well, it's the same with cars. So the fact that Tesla vehicles are selling for more than their MSRP when they're used in China is a real change in a real cultural shift change in China. And it really just shows you that there is immense demand for these vehicles. And there's a lot of impatient people who just want a vehicle now. Give me it now. Okay, what do you want? How much do you want for it? Okay, here's the money, take it. Now, CNEV Post says that what people generally shun used EVs in China, but that's not the case for premium brands like Tesla and Neo in China. The vast majority of Tesla Model Ys for sale on multiple online used car trading platforms in China are priced above 47,000 US dollars, higher than what their owners originally paid for them. I made a video about that comparing the different models and their prices on used car platforms. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. So as you can see, demand in China just keeps on increasing. And I know there's a lot of people on forums saying, Oh, you know, there's not a lot of demand for Tesla vehicles in China. You can see demand, it's drying up. Yeah, well, you know, here's some information showing to you that they're probably people who would li like to sell you a story, but not give you the facts. Here are the facts. Hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.